in this video we are going to discuss about TCP IP model. So, what is a TCP IP model and how it is compared with OSI model. A TCP IP model is condensed version of OSI model and the OSI reference model consisting of following layers. So, here it is compared with OSI model and it is a concentrated or condensed model of the OSI model and it consists of only 4 layers and you can see here TCP IP model transmission control protocol and internet protocol model and it has only 4 layers in it and this is first developed in 1985 and 19, 1973 to 1985 in between the defense research projects agency has developed this one and as a project they have developed for the interconnection to connect the remote machines and also it is very robust in architecture and its main features are when one computer or one application is con I mean contacting to a computer it has a separate path and it comes under vice and versa only by the acknowledgement of the data packets and you can see here the functions of these four layers are comparable to the functions of seven layers of OSI model and you can see what are the four layers application layer transport layer internet layer and network access layer so coming to the layers here this is osi model layers seven layers and tcp ip model layers there are four layers here in application model the osi three three layers application presentation and session layer combinedly are collided and they are uh, called as application layer in tcp ip model so here the transport layer stays as transport layer itself when it compared with OSI model and you can see internet layer here internet layer but here it is network layer so whatever it happens in the over the internet uh, is captured under this layer so coming to network access layer the physical layer and data link layer combinedly called as network access layer so this is all the seven layers of OSI model and after combining or after segregating into a single unit so it, it, it is called a four layer and it is a very robust architecture and each and every protocol works in this layer very perfectly and it also has advantages and disadvantages more than disadvantages it has more advantages so that this works as a robust architecture when you add more machines into the network this will work very good 